David Letterman was a Hollywood favorite for 22 years before he left his talk show in 2015 for a life away from the spotlight. He had the jokes, the job, the adoration, until a blackmail plot in 2009 triggered the beginning of the end of his long-running career. Here's a look back at his relationships and how he was forced to come clean about one affair live on air. Michelle Cook was Letterman's first wife. They were reportedly high school sweethearts. The pair married in 1968 on Cook's 22nd birthday. Letterman was 21 years old at the time. After college, Cook reportedly encouraged him to pursue a career as a comedian and moved to L.A. She was his biggest cheerleader as he set his sights on Hollywood, but they would divorce in 1978 just as his career was taking off. Read more, what happened between Laura Dern and Billy Bob Thornton? Shortly before his first talk show, Late Night with David Letterman, premiered on NBC in 1982, he was believed to have dated author Meryl Marco. She would go on to become the show's head writer and was renowned for making the program a ratings hit. The couple, who would regularly collaborate on ideas for the show, dated for most of the 80s, and were even rumored to be engaged. But they called it quits towards the end of that decade. They were briefly reunited in 1994 when Marco was invited to be a guest on Letterman's new CBS program, Late Show with David Letterman, with Marco welcoming the reunion. It's not like Dave and I have no feelings for each other, she reportedly told USA Today that same year. That was the nature of our relationship, a lot of goofing around. In March 2009, Letterman surprised his television audience when he revealed during a taping that he married his longtime girlfriend Regina Lasco. She is the mother of his only child, Harry, now 17. Harry was only five when the couple exchanged vows in a courthouse in Choteau, Montana. The pair started dating in 1986 after meeting while she was a production staffer on Late Night with David Letterman. They reportedly did not live together until 2001 and welcomed Harry in 2003. I had avoided getting married pretty good for, like, 23 years. And I, secretly felt that men who were married admired me, like I was the last of the real gunslingers, Letterman admitted while announcing his marriage. He then recalled almost missing his own wedding after his truck got stuck in the mud on the way to the courthouse. So now we think, well, somebody will come. Nobody comes along, it's Thursday afternoon, who's coming along, Zorro, he shared. No, nobody, so I get out of the truck and I walk two miles back to the house into a 50 mile per hour. It's not Beverly Hills, it's Montana, for God's sakes, and the whole way, I am thinking, see, smart ass, see, see, you try to get married, this is what happens. The family currently lives in North Salem, New York. In October 2009, the New York Post reported Letterman was romantically involved with Stephanie Burkett, a former intern turned employee on his show. She often appeared on the program in a series of comedy skits. She made more than 250 appearances between 1996 and 2008, and was introduced as Dave's assistant. Their affair came to light eight months after his wedding when Letterman became the target of a two million United States dollars, approximately. 2.5 million dollars, blackmail plot, read more, what happened between actor Colin Firth and wife Livia Jujoli. The talk show host addressed the scandal directly in his program, announcing live on air that he was the victim of an extortion attempt. In the taping, Letterman said he got into his car one morning and found a mysterious package in the backseat. 
Inside the package was a letter. He revealed the letter was from a man threatening to reveal the host's alleged sexual affairs with multiple female employees. It says that, I know that you do some terrible, terrible things, and I can prove that you do these terrible things, Letterman shared on air. And sure enough, contained in the package was stuff to prove that I do terrible things. Letterman told the audience the allegation was true, but he did not identify any of the female employees he allegedly had relations with. As he admitted his infidelities on air, he also apologized to his wife, Lasco. She has been horribly hurt by my behavior, and when something happens like that, if you hurt a person and it's your responsibility, you try to fix it, he said. And at that point, there's only two things that can happen, either you're going to make some progress and get it fixed, or you're going to fall short and perhaps not get it fixed. So let me tell you, folks, I got my work cut out for me. Read more. Paris Hilton speaks out after David Letterman interview resurfaces it was later revealed the blackmailer was CBS News producer Joe Halderman, who was an ex-boyfriend of Burkett. However, Burkett was neither aware of nor involved in the blackmail plot. Halderman reportedly came across Burkett's diary in which she had detailed her relationship with Letterman. The producer threatened to turn the diary into a screenplay if Letterman didn't pay up. Halderman was sentenced to six months in jail for the attempted extortion, for a daily dose of nine honey, sign up here to receive our top story straight to your inbox.